part one of our captivating series commences, spotlighting the magnificent spectrum of 100 black inventions that have indelibly altered the course of history. For far too long, the media's neglect has obscured the brilliance and talent of black inventors, perpetuating a false narrative of their intelligence. While our educational institutions extensively cover the achievements of inventors like Thomas Edison, Nikola Tesla, Albert Einstein, and Benjamin Franklin, the awe-inspiring inventions of black inventors remain buried in obscurity. For those who like to educate themselves, friends, or family, we've created a book on the 100 black inventors that changed the world for good. You can grab a soft or hard copy on our website or Amazon bookstore. Check the links in the description section below. Now this narrative is set to change as we embark on a remarkable journey to resurrect their untold stories. This series unveils the indomitable spirit of 100 black inventors who revolutionized the world. Amidst the shadows of historical discrimination and racism, these inventors refused to be shackled by their past. Their resolute intelligence and resilience propelled them forward. Within this episode, we delve into the extraordinary stories of their groundbreaking inventions, each contributing to shaping the fabric of our lives. Before we delve deeper, kindly show your appreciation by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel, ensuring you stay informed as our revelatory black narrative unfolds. Invention number 100, the three light traffic signal. The traffic signal, an essential aspect of modern road safety, owes its genesis to an ingenious black inventor, Garrett Morgan, an African-American entrepreneur. Residing in Cleveland, Ohio, Morgan stood as the city's first black car owner in 1922. The catalyst for his invention occurred when he witnessed an accident between a horse-drawn carriage and an automobile, compelling him to seek a solution to avert such calamities. During that era, traffic direction was primarily enforced by police officers, posing visibility challenges for drivers, with signals limited to mere stop and go commands. To address this issue, Morgan formulated a pioneering idea, a traffic signal boosting folding arms and signs displaying stop and go messages. This signal, mounted on a post above the road, considerably improved driver visibility. Moreover, Morgan's innovation incorporated a third position akin to the contemporary yellow signal, signaling caution. When activated, the traffic attendant would skillfully turn a crank, raising the post to display the appropriate signal. The stop sign could also be employed to halt all lanes if required. In 1923, Morgan received a patent for his groundbreaking traffic signal, subsequently selling the rights to General Electric for an impressive sum of $40,000. Invention number 99, a revolutionary home security system. Marie Van Britten Brown, a black woman, found herself vulnerable and anxious while staying alone at night in the dangerous landscape of 1960s America. Her husband's work schedule left her in a precarious position, exacerbated by the neighborhood's high crime rate and the slow response of law enforcement. Driven by necessity, Marie devised an ingenious home security system at the age of 40. Her invention boasted four small windows, a movable camera, TV screens, and microphones. The cameras could be effortlessly repositioned, providing Marie with a clear view of anyone approaching her doorstep without physically opening the door. Additionally, the microphones allowed her to communicate with visitors discreetly. Marie Van Britten Brown's pioneering home security system laid the groundwork for subsequent advancements in security technology, safeguarding countless households today. Invention number 98, the ingenious folding bed. In 1885, Sarah Good, an African-American inventor, conceived an unparalleled innovation designed for unparalleled comfort a patented folding bed, which later inspired the renowned Murphy bed. Good astutely recognized the business potential as a furniture store owner and embarked on a bold endeavor. In response to the limited space prevalent in Chicago apartments, she endeavored to assist by inventing a bed that could be folded and concealed, akin to the modern day Murphy bed. Functioning like a cabinet with a clever transformation into a desk, this bed provided optimal space utilization. Good's objective was to ensure the bed's easy folding and unfolding while maintaining firm support in its extended state. In 1885, she obtained a patent for her groundbreaking invention, etching her name as one of the first African-American women to 
secure such an accolade. Invention number 97, the revolutionary protective mailbox. On October 27, 1891, Philip B. Downing secured a patent that revolutionized the concept of mail, the street letter box, commonly known as the mailbox. Before this innovation, U.S. citizens were constrained to post and receive mail solely via a post office, necessitating considerable travel distances. Philip B. Downing's design introduced the quintessential mailbox, a metal box propped on four legs enabling individuals to post letters at any time of day, unfettered by post office hours. The hinged door protected the mail from inclement weather, securing its contents until collected by postal employees. Downing's pioneering letterbox patent serves as the bedrock of the contemporary mailbox we recognize today. Number 96, Blood Banks. The invaluable contributions of Dr. Charles Drew, an African-American inventor, physician, researcher, and surgeon, have indelibly saved hundreds of thousands of lives. He revolutionized the understanding of blood plasma, culminating in the groundbreaking invention of blood banks. Amidst the turmoil of World War II, the need for blood transfusions surged due to the staggering number of casualties. However, transporting and preserving blood for extended periods presented significant challenges. Driven by a steadfast commitment to finding a solution, Drew directed his research efforts to this pressing issue. Through his ingenuity, he devised a method to store and preserve plasma, a crucial blood component, independently from whole blood. This innovative approach enabled plasma to retain its life-saving properties over prolonged periods. Moreover, he introduced the concept of blood banking, a system for collecting and storing blood to facilitate timely transfusions when required. Dr. Charles Drew's groundbreaking work not only saved numerous lives during the war, but also laid the foundation for advancing blood transfusion techniques. His pioneering ideas have shaped the modern blood banking system, forming an indispensable aspect of healthcare today. Number 95, Refrigerated Trucks. The world of modern transportation owes gratitude to Frederick McKinley Jones, an extraordinary African-American inventor whose innovative spirit reshaped the transport and preservation of temperature-sensitive goods. In the late 1930s, Jones received a request for assistance from Joseph A. Numero, an enterprising figure in the cinema industry. Numero sought a solution to transport perishable items such as food and medicine without spoilage during long journeys. Recognizing Jones's exceptional skills, Numero sought his expertise in addressing this challenge. Jones rose to the occasion, conceiving a brilliant solution, an adaptable cooling system that could be integrated into existing trucks. This transformative technology converted ordinary trucks into refrigerated vehicles, ensuring the freshness of perishable goods over extended distances. The impact of Jones's invention resonated across various industries, from food and pharmaceuticals to healthcare. By enabling the transportation of perishable goods to distant markets, his invention facilitated global trade and played a vital role in modern logistics. Number 94, Automatic Elevator Doors. Alexander Miles, a highly skilled barber, inventor, and entrepreneur, etched his name in the annals of technology by securing a patent on October 11, 1887, for a transformative invention, the automatic elevator doors. Though seemingly inconspicuous, this innovation revolutionized the use of high-rise buildings, elevating safety and convenience. In the 19th century, manually operated elevator doors posed severe dangers, with passengers and operators facing the risk of plummeting down the shaft. Miles astutely identified this problematic issue and set out to devise a remedy. His groundbreaking design featured a flexible belt attached to the elevator cage, adorned with drums that indicated the elevator's arrival at a floor. This ingenious mechanism triggered the automatic opening and closing of the doors, facilitated by levers and rollers. Miles' patented elevator design continues to influence modern structures, with automatic elevator doors becoming a standard feature, ensuring safety and ease of use. Number 93, the iconic Super Soaker. Lonnie Johnson, an aerospace engineer at NASA, holds the accolade for inventing the beloved children's toy, the Super Soaker. In 1982, while conducting experiments for a new refrigeration system, Johnson shot a powerful stream of water in his bathroom, leading to the conception of the pressurized water. The initial experimentation 
which resulted in a stream of water traversing his bathroom and landing in the tub, laid the foundation for the power drencher, the predecessor to the iconic super soaker. Number 92, the ingenious tissue holder, Mary Beatrice Davidson. Kenner and her sister proved adept at enhancing the bathroom experience with their inventive minds. In the 1970s, they collaborated to create a patented toilet tissue holder designed to eliminate the inconvenience of grasping the free end of a toilet paper roll when tightly positioned against the rest. Their ingenious invention ensured that toilet paper remained accessible, making it more convenient to obtain a roll whenever needed. Number 91, the peanut butter. Among the illustrious African-American inventors, George Washington Carver stands prominent in the public consciousness. Renowned for his extraordinary inventions, Carver's legacy includes discovering over 300 innovative uses for peanuts, such as producing cooking oil, axle grease, and printer zinc. Carver's brilliance was evident at Iowa State, where he became the first African-American student and excelled as a campus leader, particularly in botany and horticulture. Embracing Booker T. Washington's call, Carver assumed the position of Director of Agriculture at the budding Tuskegee Institute, despite the meager compensation. Undeterred, he embraced the opportunity and unleashed his ingenuity. It was during this tenure that Carver conceived the concept of crop rotation, leading to flourishing crops, but an unintended surplus of peanuts emerged. In response, Carver embarked on the quest to explore alternative uses for peanuts, a journey that eventually resulted in the beloved invention we now know as peanut butter. Number 90, the laser faco. Imagine living with hazy or total darkness shrouding your vision for 30 long years. Before 1985, this was the reality for cataract patients who hesitated to undergo surgery with mechanical grinders. A distinguished ophthalmologist and celebrated black inventor, Patricia Bath dedicated her life to treating and preventing visual impairments. Her unyielding belief in the right to sight led to her groundbreaking invention in 1985, a specialized tool and procedure for cataract removal. With the laser faco probe and procedure, Dr. Bath significantly enhanced the accuracy and results of cataract surgery, revolutionizing the manual process previously conducted with mechanical grinders. Through her invention, she restored sight to numerous individuals who had suffered from cataract-induced blindness for up to three decades. Number 89, the automatic gear shift. Richard Spikes, a renowned inventor, left an indelible mark on the transportation industry with his groundbreaking automatic transmission for car gears and other automotive-related innovations. Spike's innovative gear shift ensured constant gear engagement at varying speeds, providing smooth driving, especially on hills. In December 1932, he secured a patent for an automatic gear shift device based on automatic transmission for automobiles and motor vehicles. Number 88, the revolutionary dustpan. While the first dustpan appeared in 1858, the improvements by Lloyd P. Ray introduced the dustpan we recognize today. The African-American inventor enhanced the dustpan by incorporating a short wooden handle and a metal collection plate. His invention, patented in 1897, allowed sweepers to collect trash without dirtying their hands, quickly establishing the dustpan as a household essential. Number 87, Golf Tee. The sport of golf underwent a transformative journey with the advent of the wooden tee in the late 19th century. Before this, golfers fashioned tees out of the sand, creating raised mounds for their shots. In 1899, Boston dentist Dr. George Grand had an ingenious solution, an invention known as the wooden golf tee. Although the tee's popularity surged when William Lowell, another dentist, developed the ready tee in the early 1920s, wooden tees became standard practice in golf. Number 86, the revolutionary lawn sprinkler. Joseph H. Smith, an African-American inventor, revolutionized the lawn sprinkler by patenting the first rotary head lawn sprinkler in 1897, capable of spraying water in two directions. A year later, he obtained a second patent for modifications and improvements to his original design. Smith's innovation eliminated the need to drag hoses across the lawn, ensuring a relatively even watering of the lawn without hassle. Number 85, Modern Toilet. Thomas Elkins played a pivotal role in the evolution of the modern toilet. While he didn't invent the toilet itself, his improvements to the chamber commode inspired the mechanics we find in modern toilets. His patented design featured several amenities, including a bureau, mirror, book rack, washstand, table, 
easy chair, earth closet, or chamber stool. Over time, these modifications paved the way for the porcelain throne we enjoy today. Number 84, the ingenious ringing mop. In 1893, Thomas W. Stewart devised a groundbreaking invention that transformed the laborious task of cleaning. His ringing mop design, which featured a clamping device activated by a lever, allowed for efficient water ringing from the mop. This invention made floor cleaning significantly less backbreaking and became a household essential. Number 83, the versatile reversible stroller. The modern day convenience of reversible strollers and baby carriages owes its existence to African-American inventor W.H. Richardson. Although the first baby carriage was created by William Kent in 1733, Richardson's patented design in 1889 offered enhanced efficiency and affordability. With wheels that could turn 360 degrees and a bassinet designed to face either out or toward a parent, his innovation remains a popular choice among parents to this day. Number 82, the innovative biscuit cutter. In 1863, A.P. Ashbourne established himself as a reputable caterer with a coveted following in Pennsylvania. His exceptional catering services were sought after for weddings and elite buffets in Philadelphia and he earned the privilege of being selected as one of the few local caterers for the city's emancipation celebration in 1863. During this significant event, Ashbourne observed that the biscuits lacked uniformity as they were merely hand-packed, lacking any distinct form. Motivated by this observation, he embarked on a decade-long journey to craft a device that would guarantee biscuits of uniform shape and size, a spring-loaded biscuit cutter, his patented cutter featured a convenient board for loading and unloading biscuits, bringing unparalleled convenience and precision to the world of flour-based culinary delights. Number 81, Advancing Airplane Propelling. While the Wright brothers deserve credit for conceiving the world's first practical fixed-pitch propeller, it was not without the contributions of black inventors and others that its mechanics evolved into what we know today. In 1920, an African-American inventor James Sloan Adams, received a patent for a novel and improved airplane propelling mechanism. His ingenious invention harnessed the energy of spring to propel the airplane forward, showcasing the power of innovation within the black community. This marks the culmination of part one in our series on the 100 black inventors who have profoundly shaped our world for the better. From lawn sprinklers and home security systems to traffic light signals, Black individuals have consistently defied the odds, leaving an indelible mark on our society. Now is the time to celebrate their triumphs and recognize the countless inventions that have revolutionized our world. In the upcoming part of this series, we will delve into even more audacious inventions, scientific breakthroughs, technological marvels, and groundbreaking discoveries brought forth by Black inventors. And for those wanting to buy me a coffee, check the link in the description section. As always, remember to show your support by liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and sharing our content to spread the truth about the remarkable contributions of black inventors and their invaluable narratives. Thank you for watching.